Okay guys, welcome back. This is the third one. I'm hoping to finish this one this time. So I've cut all these to the correct length. You'll find them in the book. And then we have to do filling these things up now. So they say get a cup of water. This is G15 and it goes with that outside. It goes in like that to the water. You're just touching the water inside there. So that's G15. Okay, first of all, they're going to tell, they're showing us how to correctly fill these things. And we're looking at H5. H5. Okay, so we're in H5 in, inside the water. Put, put it up like that, straight up, and straight down. And it's not like this, it's not like this. Straight up and straight down, okay guys? So you do it a few times. Make sure it's full. It's full now. Completely full, let's just... That's full now. Now we're taking number five tube and pushing it onto this one here. With this up like this. Common sense thing is to make sure you push it right the way on properly. Let's see what I can do. It's it's hard, but it's good because it's tight. Then so go right on, guys. Right on, and don't forget they said cut the tube. Uh, sorry, cut the tube straight. Not like this, not like that. Don't know that is on. So that's H5. Then they say to, to fill the water in the tube itself, obviously. You put the tube inside here. Somehow you put the tube inside here. So, if, so if you can see that there, it's going into this, goes into this thing here on the side there. That's in the water. And obviously you you pump this tube in and out to fill the water up. Until the whole tube is full up should be now full up. So connecting H5, H5 to I5, this one is I5, and basically this cylinder is pushed down right to the bottom. Once you pump this up, the water comes through all this, you push it onto here, and that is supposed to be that. That's how it is. Okay, so this one's done. So I'm going to do the rest off camera. Next one is H4 to I4 and so on and so forth. Okay, guys, just to uh, uh, tell you about the H2 and I2. I2 is on here. It's connected there. H2 is there. I made a silly mistake. I didn't uh, cut this long enough. I think about an inch short, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll still work. Okay, this one is uh, H1 with HO and I1. Okay, so this is H1. Well, I can make out. Yeah, H1. So I'm going to fill this up. Okay, 
and then you got this short tube here which is um, zero eight centimeter eight centimeter goes on let's see goes on here Okay, and then this tube, you can hold it, you can hold it like this. Then, this is HO, and basically, when you fill it, don't let that come out. So I have to I have to stop there like that. So it's full. Now with it being full, this one full, this goes on this side here. Okay. On this side. And you got your number one two. which goes on this side here that side okay so that's where we are this and this like this so with that there push this inside here I'm sorry um, this one just has to press down once really I thought it tried to pump it but there you go leave it there then you can take the last spring that you got large one and put that in as P12 that is okay we have E5 and E4 here and what we have to do is push them in together like this the thing here is, if it's in like a light bulb, you push it and turn it. So, see, which way is it to turn? There you go. Uh, it's, it's not as hard as you think. I just have to figure it out. But there you go, it's, it's turning, it's tight. And that's down, by the way. Don't do it. That piston is right away in. One more thing we have to do is this is still in there, this is good. And we have to push this one, this one, right to the end and pull. If I do it a couple of times, you're not going to hurt really. Okay. That's it. Now we get the main, which is already connected here. This is I1. And we put this tube inside there. Let's, 
that should be in theory. So now they're telling you to mark out the length of these things, which I think I'm going to do off camera because you can do that yourself or looking at each cylinder and marking it off with a uh, marker pen. Okay? These are G19 all the way along there. That's what they are, G19. They have protruding end at the end. This is P5. It's 10 of these P5. I put this in. And this protruding end here got to go inside like that. I don't know if you can see that, that's inside. Inwards. There it is. Not this side. Okay? So you have to make ten up of these. So guys, this is C1. And there's five of them. And push this in there like this. This is E29, and it goes on top of this, this way around. There's a, there's a groove there, so that goes into that end there. There you go, like that. And of course, you screw it on. So there's five of these, I'm going to do it off camera. And there it is. Now they do different things here. This is the E28. I don't think you can see, but there's like arrows, arrows pointing, and that goes on top of here. Well, I know. Okay. So basically, um, the holes are different, I think, but this is the front end here. So that's the. Uh, E28 with his arrows pointed that way. That's it. And it's supposed to be called a lever control. He's got these arrows in there, like that. Lever control. This is E30. It's got like a arrow pointing towards that way. Now, I've noticed something. I think one of the holes is larger than the other. So it only goes one way, I think. Yes, it is. So the small hole, which is there, goes that way, which makes this uh, sorry, small hole goes there, which makes this the front end this is the front end so that's why i remember this i'm going to just mark it because and this is lever control two this is these are e e31 and basically there's three of them they put on the small hole should be on this side and that makes that the front end there's a small hole Should only fit one way. There you go. And they they levers lever controller three, four, and five. 
Okay guys, I've changed the angle view a little bit because this looks very, a little bit complicated for me anyway. Um, so, before I start, if I get one of these wrong, I'll have to do it again. So I do apologize for that. But according to this picture, this has to be there, right? And then this one is the one we're gonna uh, tackle at the moment. And we've got um, control one, the first one we made. And the front is this end, I've marked the front end, but it seems to be obvious because this is lower, smaller, as you can see, and this is a bigger cap. So that's your front anyway. So you've got to remember that. So we're taking H1, which is this one here, H1, which is going to go through here. This end is going to go underneath, and we're taking one of the small springs that they've given us. All right, this is supposed to go on the end there like this, and be pushed up. So this is what I think happens. This goes underneath here like this, down here. All right, I'll turn this around a little bit if I can. If you can see it, you can see it. So HO, uh, so this number one goes into there, and it's got to be facing that way. Twist it, put it in. So that's in there now. Right now, according to this, this this will go. One side will slip, uh, go through there. The other side will just slip on, so click like that. Okay, I'm going to attempt that with the spring. Not sure if you'll be able to see everything here. I think you can. Just make sure I'm facing the right way. Yes, facing that the right way. towards the front. There it is, should go like this. Okay. Okay, so this this has to come right through. It mustn't be left out there. And we have to push this in into those clips there. Just got click, okay? I'm trying to do that. that easy enough. Sort it. Can you see? Yeah, same. That's controller one. One is in there. Okay. HO goes into this slot here. Like this. There's some grooves here. I'm just going to push it in there. So there's HO, fits in there, that fits in there, that leaves backwards. That's the first one. Okay, what we have is H2 now, and controller 2, which got the arrows on, on top there. And that's going to go into lever number 2, same as we've done with this one. We're going to do the same on this one. I'm going to do it off camera, because we've done one already. Don't forget the spring. Gotta go in there as well. So guys, H2 is in, same as the other one. And the bottom is the same. You can see they're both the same. H3 guys, in the same way as the others. All the levers are in. Pretty straightforward once you know the first one. There we go. Okay, so we're looking at this here. And when you hold it like this, this arm, this 
lit, um, uh, tube it's got to go behind this one so as it is it's fine this is this one's on top here this side that one's behind there that's the first thing I know so all these here have to be straight it must be crossed over okay I had to do an overhead view because um, I can't get all this stuff in there so basically this thing has to go on here there's a slide in there's a slide that you can't see there's a slide in there that groove that go in there so basically that's got a slide on there This little bit of groove here close you onto that one there okay it's a bit fiddly but you can do it it's easy enough to do and then because this will be easily onto there like that so then you know you did it right okay also this one here goes on this side and this one underneath there this one here goes on that side and the markings are up there Okay, next one is I3. We're going to put the I3 in there. This is I3. Put that in there like that. Click it in there like that. And then there's these two go into the holes down here. Then we got C, sorry, it's A4, which is this one, A4, okay, which goes on top. It also has two holes on the top here. Like that. And then we got these two, which is C7 and C8, C7 and C8. One's a right, one's a left. So we're looking at it from this point of view, this is the right, right one. It goes like this. The these holes towards the top. This is right. Oh, sorry, this is left. Right view, holes towards the top. Not very secure, I don't think anyway. I4 goes between there and this thing here. There. It comes around from this side here. This is I4. And you mustn't do it that way around. It must be that way around. So this fits into here like this. Then that fits into there. This is C8. All the holes and everything's going to line up there. 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 Or everywhere. Just going to click on. Click on like this. And there's C8. So the tube for C8 comes round here, into there, round here, and to the third one here. Markings are there, and this tube marking 
He's on top as well, I think. Top as well. So this is I5. And basically they're saying push this control lever up. So that goes up like this. Like that. Okay, so that's gone up. So guys, I got to the end here and I found that this is supposed to go there like this. Okay, so uh, basically, um, this is the this one's the wrong way around. It's supposed to be, that's supposed to go in there like that. So I'm going to just turn it around. So whatever you see me do, do that, but just keep that the opposite way from what I'm showing you. So then, then it'll fit like this. Okay, sorry about that. So guys, it's connected now. It goes in that way. It connects into this, it clicks in there. Just push it hard and this comes out this way you see so that was the whole idea of understanding which way this was you put e17 in it's pretty straightforward and put it like that as well and that should be it in theory on this part anyway so that's done now so i'm going to Press number two, uh, number two turns this, as you can see, and number one, it, it uh, pushes that like a sucker in and out, right? And this one obviously turns that all the way around. Number three, number four, the whole thing up and number five pulls it back that's that's it working fine okay guys this is my third try to try and lift this up um okay here we go I'll try to anyway suction on it, that should have sucked it, that should lift it up in theory, oh, it didn't suck it properly, oh there you go, I was doing it wrong, there you go, we've done it, that's the suction mode, now I'm going to try and put the grippers on it and see what happens there. So basically guys, this thing here needs to go into there and then the, then the clamp it clamps down. Okay, like this. It'll clamp down then. So I'm gonna put this on off camera now. And of course you want on the other side. Okay guys, um how you connect this gripper is important too. So I pull this gripper as far back as I can before I connect it and that one. So that way you've got the bigger gap here. Now you can actually pick something up. Let me see if I can close it. That's enough because you, you're going to pick something up like that anyway. That's as far as wide as it'll go. Okay, we'll just try and uh, grab this if we can. Um, I'll help them with the whole thing back on freight. And this number one is the one that grips it. Number two turns it. This one lifts it. There you go. And this one does that. We'll call this hydraulic arm a success. And it works really well. I'm so surprised how well it works. And I like the way they use water instead of oil to obviously uh, to actually do this kind of work to lift it up and everything else. So yeah, it's a very good uh, project indeed. Um, I would say that um, I left it on long play because I, I want people to have a look at it as they want, if they want to build it, instead of looking at all the instructions, they got a little bit of guidance here to show you how to put things together. So everything worked out all right. Thank you for watching guys. Thumbs up and you know, uh, subscribe please. 
and that's it. We'll leave it like that.